right? Now we're going to describe what happens when you reflect over the x-axis. So that means our mirror is going to be this line here. The line, this line incidentally is where the height y is equal to 0, okay? So if you were to graph this line, it'd be y equals 0. That's this whole line here. Y is always equal to 0. So what happens when we reflect over the x-axis? Okay, so there's the x-axis. We're going to just reflect over, and that's where we end up on this one. So if A began as 4, 1, where all points are x, y, okay? A began as 4, 1. A prime, which is the, the new version, is now, well, let's look at it. It's, it's 4 and negative 1. We are 1 below, okay? So there we go. Now what about this? Suppose this is B here. B is at 2 and negative 1. If we reflect over the x-axis, that's where we end up. B prime is 2 and positive 1. Okay, we can take either one of these points and do a before and after thing again. Okay? So before, after. Okay? And we'll see what happened. What's the change that we can recognize? Well, if we started with this, 4 and 1 became 4 and negative 1. We can identify a difference that, hey, hey, this value suddenly became negative. Okay? But what, let's try this other value. Maybe, it, maybe it's not true all the time. Maybe it is. 2 and negative 1 has become 2 and positive 1. Ooh. Confusing. What if we remembered that a positive 1 is the same as a negative, negative 1? Now let's think about that. If these are the same thing. So I'm going to change this to show a negative, negative 1. I'm not trying to make things difficult. The reason I'm doing this is to show that we take, it shows every time, every time, that whatever we have here, in the y slot gets negated. It happens again here. Whatever we have in the y slot gets negated. Negated. Okay? So, and of course we wouldn't write this as a final point. I'm just using that to illustrate that it gets negated. You would write this point as 2 comma plus 1. Actually, you don't even need to write the plus sign. Okay? No sign means it's positive. Okay? And so the common, the common thing we can understand from this is that when we reflect over top of the x-axis, what is happening is that, and what we've shown here, is that our y value of our point, x, y, our y, gets negated. Okay? That, that's really the, the main point of this one here. We'll do another line of reflection coming up.